Good evening, welcome to tonight's part two of From Day One. Substance so and auditors and everyone else are waiting just around the bend as we grab from the mailbag. Alright, definitely take some freebies. And some more freebies. Alright. So tonight we start with a sovereign citizen who swears that he wants to teach us the difference between traveling and driving. Hello folks. Once again, this is this is my story on driving versus traveling. Don't you mean how your life got flipped turned upside down? Did you like us to take a minute to sit right here? Tell us a story about how you would paint all that soft shit flair. <laughs> oh, really? Are we going to do that, Radical? Okay. As long as you don't get me copyright strike, go ahead and continue. I don't know, man. I, I think you did it wrong. A lot of information a few years ago, and I was hooked and sold, you know. I was told driving... It's only when you are conducting commerce, when you are doing business, when you're a cab driver or a delivery person, something like that, when you are making money while you're driving. Traveling is when you are going about your daily routine in your own personal vehicle, like if you're going to school or you're going to work, or if you're just about running errands, this is traveling. Well now, that's simply not true now, is it? Traveling is mostly you moving from one place to another and no one is able to stop you. Difference being, if you are operating a motor vehicle, then suddenly you need a driver's license, registration and insurance. Why... why is this so hard to understand? I mean, I, I understand why it's so hard to understand, because you don't want to understand. All part of the narrative, eh? On state roads. You are free to do this without a driver's license. That's no. the information that I learned, and I believed it, and my license had got suspended. Oh no, what happened next? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I see what the problem is. You believe. You didn't learn, as you claim. You just believe what is in your favor. Problem being that what you believe is not actually what is true. Also... What kind of sovereign citizen are you when you still pay taxes and still actually have a driver's license? Or had, you know? Aren't you supposed to be all up at that defiant behavior? You know, that, that same behavior when you grow from a teenager into an adult? I dare say you guys subscribe to growing old, not growing up. But the latter actually taking some effort and responsibility. I'm the first to admit I'm an immature bastard. But when push comes to shove, I step up to the plate. You, you simply can't go through life like this. Maybe I forgot. Maybe it might have been for child support or something. That's that's another whole story. Oh, you're that why, kind of an asshole. Why am I not surprised? I'm not sure. I, I think it might have been for an unpaid ticket or something. My license was suspended. So what's that? Did they suspend your driving privilege? How strange. Almost as if you don't take any responsibility for your actions. And then actually think there's no consequences. It's, it's just a sad state of affair that we have reached this level, right? Grown-ass people not taking responsibility, acting like immature, entitled little brats. And then start whining on the internet when push comes to shove. You know? The part where you step up to the plate? God damn it, man. What the hell's wrong with us? What happened in the last 20 years? So I, I got pulled over, this is a couple years ago, I get pulled over on a turnpike. Now I'm not sure if this applied, because I know it said state roads, and I know the turnpike is private, but, but, I don't think, I even had a chance with that in court. I get pulled over, I get a ticket, uh, I go to put in a plea, at, at my court date, and I put no plea. I don't. I didn't want to put in a plea because they only want you to plead guilty or not guilty. Now, as soon as you plead guilty or not guilty, you automatically accepting the charges. So I put no plea. I want the court to prove what I did was wrong. Pray tell. What happened? We're hanging on your lips, man. This story is so enticing. 
and totally not predictable. Okay, so now it was months in between when I put in the plea and the trial. I believe the I, I put in the plea and I get the ticket in January. I put the plea in February. I don't go to I don't I don't go I don't go to court for the trial until maybe August, September. They they really stretched it out. Here. So court date comes, no lawyer. I'm thinking I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the good. I'm out of here. I printed out documents from the Supreme Court showing driving versus traveling, how you are allowed to do it. I printed out case laws from cases where this has happened and uh, the plaintiff lost and I printed it out I had them submit it into evidence fine I'll come back let's see some more of this comedy sketch so you submitted a case where people lost and then think it's evidence of you winning yeah what? the idiot does and the court case still didn't go my way <laughs> Oh. oh shit, I still lost the case. It, it seemed like the judge only wanted me to admit that I knew my license was suspended. Even though when I got pulled over by the cop, I told the cop that I was not driving. I am traveling. I am not driving. That didn't matter. That no, didn't matter. of course it doesn't matter. You know, has it ever has this thought ever occurred to you? You know, um, you're traveling while driving. That's basically what you're doing right now. Operating a motor vehicle for which you need a driver's license. I mean, it's in the name. Oh, oh, the reason I got pulled over because the cop thought he seen me on the cell phone. I wasn't on the cell phone. My girlfriend was on the cell phone and she held it up, but it looked like I was on. So when they pulled me over and I didn't have a license, a valid license and driving, so that overrode the whole cell phone thing. So, so come on, man. Wh which is it? You just said you were driving or are you traveling? I mean, you're doing both. Why is this? I mean, I mean, you guys he always do the know. word manipulation thing. You're not really good at it, are you? Well, look who I'm talking to. Mr. Hands over cases where subsets lose their case and think it's going to help him. Someone take this man's shovel away. He's digging his rabbit hole way too deep. Well, the point is, I was unable to win my case for traveling when I was told I was driving. Now, this is my story. I got friends that told me that they do it all the time. Whenever they get pulled over, they get the case thrown out. It did not work for me. It did not work for me. No. It doesn't work for anybody. Now stay with me here. Are you sure those are your friends? At this point, I'm inclined to believe that they are just taking the piss out of you. Hey, maybe we can uh, give him some kind of case laws where the softs is loose and he thinks he is going to win using that as evidence. You know, at, at some point, something has to click, and it didn't click with you, did it? I don't know if I did it right or wrong, but this is, is my story on traveling versus driving. I had a hefty fine. Uh, my fine was about, I think it was $1,000 I had to pay to get my license back so that I can conduct commerce. Wait, you got and, your license uh, back? Drive again. Don't you mean travel, ling, traveling? You're you're driving, traveling. What are you doing? Which is it? Not that it really matters, but hey, at least get your wordy bits right. You're not a really good software, are you? So no, no, wordy no, bits, and you are not doing the wordy bits. It took me about a whole year to pay it because I was like, I ain't paying nothing. Gee, that really makes you wonder how it all added up to a bloody one thousand dollar fine, now didn't it? <laughs> I mean. What are you doing, man? You are just basically throwing yourself off at the knees. And I'm not even sure if that's a saying in English, but hey, 
Sounds funny. In short, what, what I mean is you're sabotaging yourself. And then they showed me. Either pay to play, or you just don't play. Or when you play and get in trouble, we'll make it even worse for you. That's what happened to me. That's my story on driving versus travel. Yeah, that's not really a good story now, is it? Also, I'm not even sure you learned your lesson. Did you even learn anything here? Because it's still quite obvious that you still don't understand that traveling and driving are not mutually exclusive. If you are walking, you're traveling. If you are driving a car, you're traveling and driving. Which just so happens to require a license, registration and insurance. Not to mention some petrol. It's a motor vehicle after all. Learn the ropes. It's real rough out here for certain people. That's the key. Certain people is rough. Over and out. Yeah, cer certain people who don't have a license, who don't have insurance probably, who don't show up in court, who refuse to follow any kind of laws or rules, but still want the full protection of the state when shit hits the fan. You know, people who would like to have the rules not apply to them, but the rules apply to everyone else. I think there's a name for that. Something along the lines of Dick Flute or Dipshittery University graduate. Ah, uh, why, I, why do I even bother with these people? They, they, they try to educate us, but then they basically make a fool of themselves because it, it's quite obvious they have no idea what they're going on about. Anyway, for the end of the video, gang, I want you guys to tell me if you. How about giving us another one, Regical? You get some more goodies? Ah, you do. Perfect. Let's continue to roast. What's your jurisdiction to ask me to take my temperature? What's your jurisdiction to tell me to wear a mask? And what's your jurisdiction for any of it? So as you can hear, I found an obnoxiously loud man throwing a temper tantrum. I call my new friend here Temper Tantrum Moore. And trust me, there will be more of that. He's going to be louder, thinking he's a tough guy, with all the officers basically laughing at him. Well, mostly getting annoyed. Also, to answer your question there, Mr. Moore, they just so happen to be police officers in the city, serving within the city limits, and that gives them their jurisdiction. Also, something about mask mandate. Yeah, that's right, we got one of those childish man babies on our hands here, who just goes out to incite and antagonize and just be a public nuisance, mostly. Who the fuck do you think you are that you can ask me a question? <laughs> can you imagine this guy standing in line at the McDonald's? <clears throat> Hi, how's it going? What can I get for you today? Who the fuck do you think you are that you can ask me a question? I, I don't think we have that on the menu, sir. And they use that term lightly. Magical, uh. what are you doing with my sword? I wasn't talking about burgers. I know what you do to people who talk about burgers. Or beef. Chat. What are you doing? I see what you're doing. You're doing all kinds of naughty stuff. Uh, Regicow doesn't like that. Um, could you put my sword back? <laughs> ah, always like that, huh? Holy cow, man. Tell me, it's a, that's a legitimate question. Who do you think you are to ask those questions? <laughs> you believe your badge gives you the jurisdiction to ask me what business I have? That's why the fuck people is getting shot all the goddamn time. Dude. Ass motherfuckers like you. So, since we didn't actually see the start of this video, he, he always takes it out of context. Uh, I, I've looked at his other videos as well. Apparently the officer asked him, what is your business here? Now technically the officer has no business asking what his business is here. All the officer has to know is if you want to go inside the public building. And the usual question is, what is your business here? But this guy just loves to have his public freak out because <laughs> that's the only reason he's here. You think your stare down bothers me? Okay. Way. Who are you? Security. All right, every, everyone, calm down. He, he's just opening the jacket. It's it's a stupid move to do with an officer of the law right in front of you. You know, lunging for someone. But apparently they allow it because he's simply not a threat, even though he wants to be seen as that. Why do you have a front gun? Right at the front gate. But that's not a gun. Are you so far into your silly little narrative that you just? Need to have it as a gun, so you can follow the rest of your script or something? Why do you have a gun? I don't have a gun. I have the Constitution. I don't have a gun. Have a gun. What's that? Where do you see a gun? Huh? Where do you see a gun? Oh, well, what is it? Is it a, a taser? Mm. Ah. 
I love the sound of defeat. Mm, mm, mm. Tasty. So nobody's going to provide jurisdiction or you don't know the jurisdiction. Do you know what jurisdiction is? Well, based on what you just said, no one's going to provide jurisdiction. You don't provide jurisdiction. Not to mention them being an unofficial law enforcer, the police and guards at this location, they have jurisdiction in this area. You, on the other hand, are just an obnoxious little twat. No, right here is the prosecutor's No? Nobody knows the jurisdiction is? Not at all. Jesus. Don't, don't break him into this. I do this at different places. Yeah, about that. Get a life, get a job, do something useful, throw the hell up. Do you know what... Uh, uh, diversity of citizenship is? Hey, Google girl. Yes, I'm here, Radical. So, diversity of citizenship refers to cases where opposing parties involved in a lawsuit are citizens of different states or countries. If one of these parties is a corporation, they are defined as a citizen of the state where their business operates or is incorporated. Let me guess this silly little man thinks he's a more. Well, 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 that makes him as useful as a trombone on an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Google Girl. <laughs> that sums it up. My guess is he's gonna apply it to his more citizenship, which is not a thing. Seems like it. Well, I'm off. See you, Radical. Have fun, Radical Google Girl. No. Nobody knows what diversity of citizenship is. You really should look it up. There's this article in the Constitution called Article 6. It covers specifically treaties. There's a special treaty called the Barbary Treaties. Peace and Treaty of 1786. So Article 6 of the Constitution is in general overshadowing the laws of the land and deals with oath for people who take public office. I'll link up a short video by Hip Hughes, who explains it in about four minutes. Now, the Barbary Treaties are merely several treaties that deal with commercial trading between the United States of America and the Mediterranean countries on the North African continent. But he's probably got it all twisted up in his out of context shenanigans to change it into Barbary pirates owning the lands of North America. You probably. silly man. Most recently, how you doing today? How can I help you? Oh. Do you have jurisdiction? Can you? Can somebody? Because these guys don't give me jurisdiction. Do you know what the jurisdiction is that says that you can violate people like myself? I'm, I'm not. I'm not one of your black people and African American and Negroes out here. So let's first clear that up for the record. I'm on more. Except <laughs> for the record, you're not. You're just cosplaying as one. Do you know what a more is? That's another problem. But you will soon. Because I don't like you walking behind me over there. You're making my nerves back. Get the fuck from behind me, bro. Shit, Language. I don't like you surrounding me. That's you that cool. Okay, your business is not surrounding me. And you wouldn't have business if it wasn't for me. This exists for me. See, it's covered in here. I'm the people. Um, since, since you're cosplaying as a Moor, let's play this a little game, shall we? You have no right if you are a Moor. <laughs> to enact the laws of the land of the United States of America, Constitution and everything. See, you're one of those guys who doesn't want to follow the rules, but wants everyone else to follow the rules. Or in other words, just put on a damn mask, you child. Wait, is this all over just a mask? Doesn't fucking matter who I am. You don't have jurisdiction to ask me what my name is. I'm here to conduct business. It's not you doing it again. Give me, tell me how you can ask me how I'm going in here. But based on what jurisdiction? What jurisdiction do you believe in your mind lets you ask me the question, what in the fuck am I doing at the courthouse? Tell me. You're chewing gum. It's chewing gum. Chewing gum clearly is a fucking answer. This is this guy's answer. Chewing gum. I do have business. I just told you. You're not going to let me conduct it? What What are you guys coming for? Come on out. Come on. The rest of you want to come out and act dumb too? You want to tell me why I can't conduct my constitutional rights? All you have to do is put on the damn mask. He's, he's so really, it's all by the them Jesus asking Christ. what business he has here. Taking it literally. So, here's the thing. And now stay with me here, because this might be well out of your league. 
They just want to know which department you're going to, so they know where you are going. But you still have to wear a mask if you want to go inside to conduct your business. Hey, hey buddy, now you're under no obligation to tell me. What is this business at the courthouse? Not that spiffy? I mean, it sounds like it's not spiffy at all. Do you, anybody? What are you coming over here for? You just, you just asked him to come over. <laughs> yeah, he did. Sherry? Bad guy, come on out here and be seen. You want to act bad? What you got gloves on for? He don't got gloves on. What you want? You going to touch me? You think we having sex? Wait, what the, what the hell did you just say? No, I was about ready to ask the same question there. So what you got gloves on for? That's kinky as shit, man. You think it stops disease? The CDC tells you that it doesn't. The CDC will tell you that the mask can't stop a common goddamn cold. And yet, I'm standing on the outside of the court when I got business on the inside. Why? Well, first of all, we don't kink shame around here. Second of all, stop being so damn horny. Third of all, what the fuck was that? Fourth of all, you're also a cough idiot. Fifth of all, all you have to do is wear a damn mask so you can go inside, you child. Sixth of all, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Yes, quite. Correct, Regical. That's a fucking question! Oh, who the fuck do you think you are asking questions? Hey, I just noticed something. This guy doesn't do axing questions. Well, that's just at least something, I guess. I can do this all day. Gee, I wonder why you have so much time on your hand. I mean, listen, I've already told him up at 1600 I'm going to go on tour. None of you can do shit to me. Not at the airport, not nowhere. You actually can't do it to nobody. Double but negative. the other people just don't know it yet. I dare you to lay a fucking finger on me. Right. I, I don't think they want to have sex with you because that's apparently what you're there for. For some... You're a bit of a weirdo, aren't you? That put please, it mildly. If you don't kill me, you just can't wait for what the charges are going to be. I promise you, it's too expensive for you to hold me inside your punk-ass jail. Get somebody to fuck over here. Knock it off. Or what? Knock it off or what? <laughs> go to jail, what's the charge, punk-ass? What's the charge? Being a completely unimpressive man-child, yelling at officers because he got bad intention at home, I guess. Hey, are you soliciting hey, these officers? Dick loop. <laughs> I think they've made it clear they're not interested in that kind of stuff and things. Mostly things. Disorderly conduct, you hear that? This stupid son of a bitch thinks disorderly conduct is a crime. Did he, did he say that? Or are you just taking stuff out of context again? Everyone come else back. is a misdemeanor Conduct. or a bastard infraction. Now, temper tantrum more. You can still get busted for that. I think these officers have been more than lenient. And contrary to popular belief, I don't do punks anymore. Then arrest me then. Arrest me. If you think this orderly conduct is a crime, arrest me. Arrest me. Is this a crime? Arrest me. What, what, did, he, did he just do, throw an actual temper tantrum by stamping his foot? Yes. Oh, no, he did not do that. You're a grown-ass man. Stop it, man. I just came back even. You're going to fly again. Punk asses. Oh, look, he's doing the walk of shame. Okay. And it ain't this them. This tough guy doesn't get his way, so he walks off? What's the matter? Didn't your baiting work? How sad. He wasn't even worthy of being arrested for disorderly misconduct. Imagine being this loud and leaving absolutely no impression whatsoever, only to walk off with his tail between his legs. On Fred Nuts Piffies, there's another video. Let's have a look, shall we? It's titled, Nothing. Can I get a supervisor or something? No. Okay. No, you can't. Make me. 
Get him. Come on. Or what? Or what? Or what? Or what? Or you can go to hell. Or what? what? Step away or what? Make me step away. Now, I'm sure in his mind he is coming across as the tough man who resists the government. While people walking by just see a grown ass man throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> Make me step. I don't care about your orders. Does it supersede the Constitution? It does make a difference. But for the record, who are you? Deputy Sheriff just told me what's the jurisdiction that you just said that the Constitution doesn't matter. I didn't say that. You just said that. So order it. So what the orders are supersede the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence? You're not coming in. So they do. What's your name again? Deputy Jacob just said for the record that what? what what's your jurisdiction again? Who are you? Who are you talking to you now? What's okay. <laughs> I, I can ask you whoever I want to. You work for me. You don't have jurisdiction here. I do. Hey, don't touch me again. You pushed it on me. Watch what the fuck you doing. Or what? For fuck's sake, man. How old are you? Mentally, I mean. Three. Like four years old? I'm just asking, uh, guys, uh, do you have bingo yet? He went down the list, didn't he? Friggin' dick loot. He's gonna arrest me. Arrest me, then! Lock me up! I wanna know what your charge is! Put the cops on! You bad, put the cops on! Put the cops on! You, you just said you was gonna arrest me with the cool-ass chains on! You just told me to get on the other side of this or you was gonna arrest me! What's your name? What's your name? Tough guy, what's your name? Now, for the record again, what's the jurisdiction that you're saying that I can't come in here? The presiding judge tells you. Presiding judge. That's right. So, do, do, so uh, clearly, his... Wait, what, what, what happened? This is actually the end of the video. This guy doesn't know how to stream. I mean, he has a new YouTube channel, I think. Uh, maybe you need to work on your skills some more. I mean, we do have dead air, you know, the classic dead air. But this cutting off of videos when you're going to make a point, that's not making a point. And you sound really desperate trying to get arrested. What's the matter? Don't they want to arrest you, buddy? Well, well, well. Apparently you are not threatening enough. Just this guy <laughs> acting tough, trying to incite, you know, an arrest or something. It's... So predictable. It's so adorable. Anyway, that was temp. Anyway, don't walk away, cause I have another time. Here, you tell me this one will issue a warrant at three o'clock if you do not appear virtual, or you can't calm yourself down. So where is this virtual? When was I given this virtual? I don't For know. For the record. So, so again. So now you hear this family? Some more bullshit. Wait, is a temp potential more again? Well, well, well. What are you yelling about this time? Or bullshit, you say? Well, I do believe the official term is horse shit. So now they done changed it to virtual. I got the shit. I just pulled it up online a few minutes ago. It says, here is the location. I just showed this dumbass administrator what it said. So you telling me what's on the internet is wrong. Ah, uh, yes. If it's on the internet, it's always right. Right? I mean, your 10-second uh, Google adventure is probably... Uh, I don't even know what he's talking about. What the fuck is going on, man? I mean, you start yelling and it doesn't make sense. Make sense. So where was I served or given that information? Well, no, when was I provided okay. that information? Either you can listen to me, or you can No, I'm going to read this to you. Can, can we just, uh, I mean, I, I don't care what this guy is saying anyway. Uh, so can we just uh, divert our attention to his very amazing mask that is now a chin mask? It says Trump, so he's, he's an early supporter of, uh, of the 2024 elections, I, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Listen. Okay, relay your dumbass message. What is your fucking dumb message? I will give you the information. For okay. The virtual number. You give me something written. I don't want your fucking words. I want it written. Have a nice day. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. I, I just, I just, I just got shot off uh, into the field there, and now I'm back. What, what happened? What happened? Please tell me it's, it's not over. I want more. Dumb potato, more. <laughs> I don't know puns. 
So you're hearing this again. I'm being right. denied court. So how do I do virtual then? I don't know. You don't want to get your phone number. Huh? No, I want to know how am I supposed to do something virtual. I want y'all to stop playing fucking games. Oh, oh, oh. Finally, we got to the bottom of this nonsense. Hey, so you go to the website of the courthouse that you are at, and then you do a virtual on online thing. It's not that hard to do. You're actually streaming right now. What the fuck is going on, man? Where do you brain? Where do you brain? No. Oh, where is your brain? Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. That was too funny. It's like, so, Mr. Idiot. Yes, he's so angry. Why is this man so angry? Why are you gonna stamp your foot? Please stamp your foot again. It, it was hilarious in the previous video I did with you, and this one is just two weeks ago. So I don't know, man. Do something else with your life because the well, actually, <laughs> oh no, uh, this is so so. This is such a useless man, and I use that term lightly again. So they're asking that you can move out of the doorway because you're scaring other people that are trying to come into court with your behavior and demeanor. You really expect him to do you no, a favor? I need to know how I'm supposed to show up for your felonious fake ass hearing. Okay. How are we going to shake hands, Deputy Chief? Is not a dangerous disease going on? The only thing that I want to tell you is that you can't have court on the court facility. With what jurisdiction? Here you go. That, that, this right here. This so this man wants to give me toilet paper. I got toilet paper, bro. This, this, I got toilet paper. I have to. You lie, statutes you are not law. Oh, shut the hell up, you freaking dick fluid. I mean, seriously. Statutes are law. They are. Stop being an idiot. Stop being an idiot. And stop yelling. Also, Radical, stop yelling. You might want to calm down a bit. So apparently this idiot needs to, uh, you know, appear in court, but he can't appear in court, so he has to do a virtual appearance. If he does not do so, they're going to get a warrant out on his stupid ass. And what was that about there being a dangerous disease going around? Well, why aren't you wearing your mask then? Because you are now spreading your noise and viruses. Ah, I get it. You're a narcissistic little ego maniac. I see. Hey, stamp your foot for us. I want you to do it. We all want you to do it. <laughs> Understand that okay. You cannot. How can you, did you hear this administrator just tell me that he doesn't know that a statute is not law? Well, my God. Right. So if he if he cannot escape on the inside of a court facility, if he does that again, you got to. Does what again? I'm recording right now. Do something. Hmm. Yeah. Well, first of all, he's not an administrator. Second of all, laws are statutes. Statutes are law or acts. You know, and all that kind of jazz. Learn a thing before you talk or yell or scream. I don't really care what you do, mate. Also, you are really not important enough to do something. He's clearly suffering from fake tough guy syndrome. You know, yelling as loud as you can to try and sound tough and come across as tough. And everyone's just looking at you. Hey, look at the village idiot. He's back. You're one of those uh, grown-ass men who need a timeout. There's a reason I call you Temper Time from more. <laughs> I got to all the toilet paper I need. Family, why are they trying to give me toilet paper when I have it already? I don't know. Maybe in all the excitement you shut your pants and they can smell it on you. So they think, hey, here's your toilet paper. Also, stop being so goddamn childish, man. <laughs> Said the guy who just did a poop joke. And the turn to more poopy pants. So now, where am I supposed to meet for this fake-ass hearing? That's now at 1500 when it said 1330. Oh, come on. What the hell are you recording now? Or not recording now? Phone oh, yes. Did you hear them? No, we did not hear them. Your microphone doesn't work as you think it does. Fugazi as fuck! What the hell does that even mean? Or what? I'm standing, right I'm standing right here. I'm standing right here. I'm standing right here. Alright. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, disorder. Disorder is not a crime. No, you don't know what crimes are. I'm going to read them off to you. I got the crimes right here. Well, actually, I, I don't want to be this guy, Mr. Pemperton from More Poopy Pants. Uh, so, disorderly conduct is known as disturbing the peace, which is a crime. Uh, or a misdemeanor in some states. So, you're going to get your... Well, you're not important enough or even threatening enough, so don't worry about it. It might be annoying enough, though. For your ass. I ain't cooperating with shit, stupid ass. I'm getting the facts out for you. Because you're stupid as fuck. So I have to provide the law for you. Taylor v. Lawson, in which the United States Supreme Court ruled that a police officer could not arrest a citizen merely for refusing to prevent identification. What the hell does this have to do with disorderly conduct? I haven't even asked you for identification, you weirdo. That's not me, that's 12 Supreme Court justices. Let's keep going. California v. Farley. Speeding, driving without a license, wrong plates, uh, wrong registration, wrong tags, etc. has held to be non-arrestable offenses. Yes, I really appreciate your cooperation. You're not, Adams v. State. You're, you're not under arrest. One may come okay. to the aid of another being unlawfully arrested, just as he may, where being assaulted, molested, raped, kidnapped, thus it is not an offense to liberate one from unlawful custody of other officer, even though he may have... What the hell is he do doing? What is he just reading a piece of paper that has nothing to do with this situation here? Oh, am I talking over him? Well, it's utter horseshit what he's talking anyway. Oh god, man, what, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this? What, don't you have anything better to do? I mean, we're all bored in this pandemic, but holy hell, man. You gotta find a better hobby. Oh, for fuck's sake, the irony. Says the guy without any self-awareness. <laughs> Motor Coach v. Chicago. The use of highways for the purpose of travel and transportation is not a mere privilege, but a common fundamental right which the public and natural people cannot be deprived. Miller v. Kansas. The claim of an exercise of a constitutional right cannot be converted into a crime. I got one especially for you guys. Mulberry v. Madison, the Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of the land, and any law that is repugnant to the Constitution is null and void of law. Not my word, 12 Supreme Court justices. Ready for your information? Sure. Okay, it's Commissioner Nick Tony, Seven Delta. <laughs> I'll give you this paper. Commissioner Nick Ciccone, mm -hmm. Seven Delta. This is the phone number, area code 917 You see this bullshit, now they're giving me a phone number because they don't want to get in front of my face because I eat their ass the fuck alive. I mean, this guy is so freaking delusional, he actually believes his own hype. So now that these people are actually helping him out, he still acts like an asshole. A very loud asshole. So basically, the, the sounds coming from his, his mouth are fart noises. Hey, now it all makes sense, doesn't it? It'll be a prompt. You'll enter this PIN number, uh -huh. 6387595. Just drop down, Do it before man. 3 o'clock. Yeah, whatever, before man. 3 o'clock. Yeah, whatever, man. All right, otherwise... You'll listen. Whatever, man! Thank Fuck you. your warrant, too. Otherwise Come and get me. Be armed. Be ready. Or to use your own words against you. Or what? You're gonna fart in their faces with your mouth? Because that seems all you're capable of. Or maybe you're gonna pull your trump card by stamping your foot. How, do you, how did you even make it into adulthood? What is this, even? Alright, I will be ready. Bulletproof. Hope you are. Well, shit, dude. Did you just threaten an officer? He, why don't he arrest him on the spot right now? Because that was a threat. Well, coming from him, I don't think it is a threat. I'm about done with this guy. He just has like uh, four more words or something, so I, 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 I don't even care. You know? hey, go ahead, uh, more fart noises. Always bullshit. He's huh? I'm sorry, did someone break your concentration? Ugh. So, make up a name for this guy using temper tantrum something. Uh, that's the... Uh, by the way, no, because we got one more of this guy. And no, I don't make puns either. That just happened to work quite nicely. 
It's been a little bit of quiet, or if you can't believe it, on Temper Tantrum Wars front. I found some older videos, and it turns out he's even louder. Jacob believes that he has jurisdiction to tell me that I can't come here. I need your supervisor, Jacobs. Get him over here. Get him over here, the supervisor. I'll be right here until he comes. Hey, hold up here. I, I mean, first of all, I think he's not into this kind of thing, and also I run a family fucking friend. That's what. It, that's not what it means. But you never know with temper tantrum or he can, you know, temper tantrum all over the place. No, I don't do puns. Not really to popular belief. Uh. Are you the supervisor? Yes, ma'am. Hello, supervisor. Can I get your name properly? Mo, can you pronounce that for me? I don't want to screw it up. Malamoski believes that he can get rid of me and, and deprive me from my constitutional rights. Based on what jurisdiction? I don't want to mess it up. Officer? He's the administrative orders. Administrative orders. Administrative orders are as good as toilet paper. Do they supersede the Constitution? Yes, in this case they do, and they are signed by the Supreme Court. So, yeah, I guess we're done here. For the record, answer that question. Do they supersede the Constitution? Officer, I just want to know this before I exit. You mean exit your brain, or what, 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 what do you mean with exit? Something has ejected, and, you know, I, I, I'm guessing you're refusing the brain. Go get your brain. I think it's outside. On the roof. The rules. Does the rules supersede? Hold on, let me get it out. I'm not reaching for a gun. Mate, even if you drove up in a tank, you wouldn't be threatening, little man. And can you please let the man finish after you ask a question? I mean, this is not how a conversation works. You're getting me all riled up even. And I'm not even temper tantrum more. I may turn into rageical, you know? Does the rule supersede this guy right here? Say, Declaration of Independence, Constitution, Bill of Rights. Mine is signed by Senator Rob Paul. Does what you have supersede this guy right here? Does it? Any place nowadays. Ah, it's not any place. It's a direct question. It's yes or no. Does it supersede what's in here? I need that for the record so I can leave. Yes or no. Does what you're presenting me supersede what's in the Constitution of the United States upheld by 12 Supreme Court justices? Does it supersede that? Yes or no? That's all I need. Yes or no? And I'm out. This is the Does it supersede? Yes or no? Do you understand English? Can I get somebody over here that speaks English? I, I have another request. How come your sentences always interfere with the start of the other person's sentences? That is not how a conversation works. Can we get another temper tantrum more in here? That is not temper tantrum more. So we can get more to the point, you know? Also, I hope you broke your phone there, tapping it. You utter dick flute. Anybody speak English? No? Can you answer the question? No, it's yes or no. No, it's yes or no. Don't come to me with that dumb shit. I asked you what's two plus two and you said jello. At least give me a goddamn number. Yes, I do. Then answer the question. And as usual, in, in Temper Tantrum more style, he ends the video because he tapped his phone and forgot to record the rest of it. Hey, I got another video where he gets even more loud. I mean, at this point, I think it's unbelievable if he's not loud, huh? Make sure I still record. The freaking irony! I mean... <laughs> Family, make sure you go back and look at the other part of the video, how his hand was literally less than two inches away from... Is that not a... What is that, a nine millimeter? Yeah. About a millimeter? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You guys use the metric system for ballistics and ammunition. Huh. Anyway, what I, what I was gonna say, that video he's talking about, it's, it's not on his channel. Anywhere. And it is quite common that an officer actually rests his hand on his duty belt. You know, it is trying to make up a scenario that is not even a scenario. It was only a few inches away from it. Maybe. And there goes the metric system, as well as your on the record for the record, let the record show. Where's your video? But this guy just stood here and told me a bold-faced lie. Continue lying. Go ahead. Okay, so number three, the mandate is coming from Superior Court. Mandate. Notice he has no law. I said, what's the law? Give me the law. The mandate is... Law. The mandate. Law. L-A-W. Law. What's the law? Go ahead. 
I said, what's the law? I said, like, I if I ask you what's two plus two, you just told me jello. At least give me a number. Like, give me seven or something. I know that's wrong. It's two boys fucking, but at least it's a number. Huh? What? what? Did you just say what I thought he said? It's two boys. What power does man's brain is on the fritz? Not to mention the man, it is a law. It is a law. L-A-W. The L is for you. You lose. The W is for us. We win. And then we still have a Canadian A. <laughs> I just asked a direct question. What you're telling me, does it or does it not, for the record, supersede this guy right here, the Constitution? Yes or no? That's all I need. And I can go on about my business. Okay, so may I talk now? Yes or no? Does any of the bullshit you're about to spit out of your mouth, any of the hot garbage, any of the uh, any of the mucus you're about to spit out your mouth, like the lie you just told about your weapon and your hand being near it, does any of that supersede the jurisdiction of the absolute law of the land, which last time I checked, not my words, the founding fathers call it the absolute law of the land. Then 12 Supreme Court justices came along. Arizona v. Miranda said it's the absolute law of the land. Do you have anything that can supersede that yes or no it's a yes or no like remember when you had that girlfriend in school she had a little box and she put the what no it is thank you then we're no. done the answer to your question is not a yes or no answer well technically it kind of is it is a law usually a temporary one that supersedes any laws in place but if you were to go into it, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to lose some potential more here. I'll see what's going to <laughs> do, do another weird analogy. I, I don't even want to know where he was going with that. Not to mention, the officer is going to explain it now. I'm pretty sure Tempetan for more is, is going to have a sit down and, uh, you know, have a willing listening ear. Uh, you know, I'm an optimist. What can I say? So let, let's see what happens. Yeah. The answer to your question is not a yes or no answer. It is. It is not. It is. You see more dumbness because you got another bit of nonsensical screaming, and that's what I get for being an optimist. <laughs> Nobody, another administrator of the court telling me on the record that sometimes the Constitution don't count. Sometimes, no, uh, not in this. So what are you saying then? What I'm telling you is to answer your question, I cannot give you a yes or no. I have to give Why? You an explanation. What do you mean you can't give a yes or no? It's not a yes or no question. It is a yes or no. No, it's not. It's cut and dry. Right, let's make this simple. What's your business at the court today? None of your motherfucking business. That's another problem. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can you please let the man finish? Who do you think you are to ask me? Give me the jurisdiction that you have to ask me any goddamn thing. Supreme Court, Arizona Supreme Court mandate. Justin. So he don't have shit. Man, I'm going to file so much paperwork. Okay, well, do you have an estate file on your paperwork then, sir? Make me. Make me leave. Did you the court? You're the district. Make me. Don't turn up your fist. You're making me nervous. You see that? You see that bullshit? The guy with the fucking weapon with two magazines and one in the, and, and one in the gun tells me that me rubbing my fingers like so makes him nervous. You see what type of fuckery these people is on? All right, so sir, you do not have any official business. I do have official business that you won't let me get to. Are you going to let me get to my business or not? What is your business? None of your fucking business. Okay, what's your name? None of your fucking business. Will you allow the officers to use uh, the COVID preventative measures so you can enter the court building? Sure. You have to provide your name as well. Under whose jurisdiction? You keep using words that you don't understand. Stop using words. Stop talking. Also, did you just go squeaky? He just went squeaky. The voice cracks of an adult man. How is that even a thing? You're a bit of a weirdo, aren't you? Well, it's Glendo City. Hold on. You stay right there. Don't go nowhere. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I just had it. I just read it. I just read it. Who are going to shout at me, though? Or what? I, I almost forgot about this. Or what? You are overcompensating so, so much. How can an adult male, allegedly, be so damn childish? This is for you, so you don't think that you can get away with anything? Officers of the court have no immunity when violating constitutional right from liability, for they are deemed to know the law. 
clearly this guy don't know the law. He thinks that a procedure is above the law. That's one. I just wanted to get that guy out the way to prove you wrong. No, it's not in addition to it. See what kind of dumbass answers this guy has? He thinks there's something that's added to it, even though I just read it to him word for fucking word. You're right. God damn. This is the type of dumbass why people get shot all the time, man. Huh. And that's why you're still sitting there talking to the officer completely unharmed. Weird. Almost as if you are exaggerating scenarios that you will never encounter because you are not at all an impressive specimen of the human race. You're a tiny man. I mean, I've seen your camera height versus a door versus other people. Temper tantrum more. Can you stamp your feet for me a little bit? It was so amusing last time. It's sad. Hold on. Hold on. Here, you hold and read that one. Here you go. Here. Here. No, I'll be right there. That's for you. Right? So we're going to get back to the ID guy. I just need the ID guy. So we can prove. I, I, like, I like proving stuff. <laughs> Oh shit! Cause, uh, oh my god, thank god, there it is! That rights secured by the Constitution are involved. There can be no rulemaking or legislation which would abrogate them. Okay, Google, what is abrogate? It means to repeal or do away with a law, right, or formal agreement. Ah, repeal or do away with. So, modifications, temporary or otherwise, are allowed. Strange how words work. Well, or how words don't work in temper tantrum Moore's brain. I'll see you around radical. Huh? Bye bye. There it is. Thanks. Miranda v. Arizona. Where the rights secured by the Constitution are involved, there can be no rulemaking or legislation which would aggregate them. Get a dictionary and look up the word aggregate. <laughs> Nah, I'll print out some more. I, you need that. Actually, you're interpreting Miranda wrong. Uh, he said, I'm, I'm not interpreting. First off, it's not Miranda. Dumbass. It's a piece of case law. No. No, it's much more than that. Get it? Much more than that? Well, I guess I have one more. Get it? More? Face bomb. Holy hell, man. Anything else I can help you with? No, we just covered everything. Okay, and you so don't need... Like Shut up, I'm busy right now. I'm, well, I'm doing like, something. Like I'm doing something like right now. I, there, there, you don't have rules. You don't have rules outside the court. You don't have rules outside the court. Then put your goddamn hands on me then. Here I go, hold on, let me lock my phone up. For the record, on the record, let the record show. His for the record, on the record, let the record show is utter horseshit. He turned his phone off again. <laughs> this man is... Special. He is so desperate for attention. He spooks himself and to, you know, shaky hands and all that jazz. And, all that and he doesn't ever come back, so we're done, unfortunately. Thank you, Radical, for our trip down, as I like to call it, more on lane. Uh, Van Balian, you there? You got a little quick one for us, don't you, to finish it off tonight? Perfect. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a follow-on from the Sovsit police chase video. He ended up with a slew of charges, and he's in court representing himself. Oh, God. And it goes as well as you might expect. Enjoy. Yeah, I'll be over She's my witness. Well then, she can come in. No, sir. I'll come in when she can come in. If you're not ready for me, then you're not ready for me. Ma'am, let me tell you what's going to happen. You, we're not having a disorder today. The dis, you disrespect the room. You can't come in. Have a seat. You go in. I'm not going in without my witness. She's here to witness the fraud in this court. If I can't bring in my witness, I'm not coming in the court. The well, okay, then she's not ready for me. When she calls for me, I'll go in then. Wow, we're not even in the courtroom yet, and he's already causing trouble. This bodes well for the hearing. Man, 
there ain't no reason I can't sit out here just like I'm sitting fucking there. You walk up to the stand, you have a seat in the back. You walk up with me. No, you're not. 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 Go that way. Damn, go that way. Don't be pushing on me. Go this way. Why are you assaulting me? Get your hands off of me. Sir, get up. Move up. I didn't like to sit with this bullshit anyhow. Don't be pushing me around. Yeah, that's my witness. She wasn't even there on the traffic stop. You were on your own. So how can she be your witness? Yeah, you need to be here. Get ready for this long list of charges. It's incredible the amount of offences he committed by refusing to pull over. Where he is, he's charged with the offence of evading arrest, 82, reckless endangerment, 83, resisting, 84, driving on a revoked, 86, feeding, 87, reckless driving, 88, registration. 8 9 texting while driving, 9 0 failure to use due care, 9 1 driving without a license, 9 2 driving without insurance, 9 3 registration violation, and 9 5 uh, retaliation. All witnesses that are going to testify, you said you're going to testify, ma'am. She okay. carried a witness to proceedings. Okay, are you going to testify? If you're not, you're going to leave the courtroom. She's here to witness okay. proceedings. Sir, okay. not being uh, we are not having any witnesses of proceedings now due to COVID regulations. What's all these other people in here? Looks to me like they are all there to testify. Your quote unquote witness isn't. Or witnesses in the courtroom. And so, if you're going to testify, raise your right hand. If not, okay, then you need to step outside. Sir, if you'll step forward. Before I cross this bar, I waive no rights and I retain all my rights. Step forward. Step forward. Okay. Now, sir, before we start this hearing, I, I need you to tell me whether or not you have an attorney to represent you. Do you have an attorney? I have an attorney. I have no need for one. Now, do you wish me to appoint you an attorney no. for this preliminary hearing. If you don't wish to have an attorney, I need you to waive your I'm right. I'm not waiving any rights. Listen to that. The judge is trying to help him, but all he hears is the words waive your rights, and he instantly thinks that's a bad thing. He doesn't understand that in order to properly represent himself, he needs to waive his rights to a lawyer, or standby counsel will be appointed, which he will also whine about. Okay. Well, you either will have an attorney or you will waive your rights. I will not accept an attorney and I will not waive any rights either. Okay. Then I have the I'm right to be to here as myself through jurors. To represent you today. I, I do not accept representation. I do not need representation. Do not talk. I am competent. All right, sir. Okay. Uh, I'm going to appoint the public defender. He does not want anybody to represent him, but since he a few refuses to waive his right to an attorney, I am appointing an attorney only as an armchair counsel uh, for this I do not hearing. accept it. Do you They're not wish to talk to your attorney? Well, waive your right to an attorney then. The judge gave you the two options available to you, and you chose neither. That's on you. Your attorney that I've appointed. No. Okay. I do not accept him to speak a word on my behalf either. Okay. I'm just going to have one of the public defenders will be available, Judge. That be so, available so to we're him. Just gonna hear no, I don't okay. have no use for you. Okay. He has no use for the public defender, but since any reviewing court at, that looks at this will understand I am appointing him a public defender 
against my will or against my consent. It's not a matter of will or consent. This is for your benefit and to protect your rights. But you're too dumb to understand that. To, um, to waive his right. Now, sir, uh, if you at some point decide to testify in this hearing, I assume you would like a jury trial. Is that correct? Yes, that's the only trial I do accept is a jury trial. Okay. I do not accept and these so sham proceedings. In order to get this case to criminal court, you first have the right to have a preliminary hearing. And so that's what you're about to have is your preliminary hearing. And we will leave that there for tonight. We will come back and pick that up in a rare part two for this segment of From Day One. In the meantime, of course, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Get us to the goal of 50,000 views, 1,000 subscribers. So Boxy will send us some nice red packages to send to you guys. And YouTube will, you know, give us a look. Coinbase and about or below, coin, uh, fill them out, get your $10 free. Coinbase, of course, lets you do Coinbase Learn, two-minute lessons, one-question quizzes, to get yourself up to $100 in free crypto. And, of course, Ibotta basically rewards you for what you normally wish to do anyway, and that's the shop. Till next time, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another, and it's always a great new world to release the Kraken. Next episode will be in the overnight when we continue on with Crop Circles here from day one. Have a good evening.